Hey, I wanted to show you how to make your own keychain using Tinkercad. It's actually pretty simple and straightforward, so let's get into it. First things first, Tinkercad is free to use and it is a web-based platform. So just open up your internet and come over here and go to tinkercad.com. You're going to need to uh, log into your own account so you can just use a Gmail account or anything like that. And I'm just going to come over here to create 3D design. And this is super easy. So I've already made a rounded one, as you can see. So what I want to do now is I want to make a squared one. So let's go ahead and just grab this cube shape right here. We're going to stretch that out a little bit. And you can see we've got our sizes right here. So let's go into settings. We've got it set to inches by default because America. So you can just click on this guy right here. We just want two inches by, let's call it three quarters of an inch, so 0.75. And then we are just going to take this down. So eighth of an inch should be good. So this is going to be the base that we're going off of here. And what I want to do is I want to make fully customizable. So um, I'll show you how to uh, how to just put it on directly or how to print out whatever you want to use. So um, Tinkercad gets a little bit weird for kind of navigating. So you right click to move the shape around. You hold shift and then right click to move the entire template around. It takes a little bit of getting used to, especially if you're used to slicers. They all kind of have their own modes of control. But uh, So we're just going to take this guy, we're going to hit uh, copy and paste. And then what we're going to do is we want this to be a hole. And we're going to bring this up just a scooch so our grid is moving one eighth at a time so let's go to one thirty second at a time and move this down just a hair because we don't need this to be super thick by any means so now we're going to bring this up here and we're just going to make this a little bit shorter so if you hold the shift while you move this in, that's going to proportionally change the size. And then, so we're going to select both of these, just hover over both, and then you hit L to align. So we want it to align here and here. And so now we've got that perfectly lined up. And so the hole is going to cut out what we have right here. So we're going to come in here. Command G is going to group those together. So that puts that hole in for us. So now you can see we've got our nice little squared area right here. And if you want to take a little more time to get everything a little more proportionally accurate, whatever, do your thing. I don't care that much. We're just making a little demo piece here. So we've got, uh, we selected this hole right here for the cylinder. Um, I like to go through and max out the sides. Otherwise you get um, kind of, you can see we've got the polygon shapes here because that's how many sides it has. So if you add more sides, it's more like a circle. So we're gonna bring this in here, hold shift again, make that smaller and this just needs to fit a key ring so it doesn't have to be very big that should be perfectly fine right there we're going to select all again and then command g to group it all together 
and there we go we got a nice hole in there so um you can come in here and do text and then you just need to obviously fit that into the size that you're going to be doing here so whoops so you want to grab the square to adjust the height on it here and again we don't need this to be very tall so we're going to shrink this down so that it can fit right in here so if you want to put it just directly into the keychain whoo did something funky there i think i grabbed the wrong thing hang on there we go all right so you can just adjust the height on that just put it directly in here and go up here to text say i want to put my name in here boom there we go and that's it you're done if that's all you want to do for it what i want to do though instead of having just my name in there is i want to be able to make a bunch of customizable keychains so we are going to do whoops All right, and then just go in here. And now we have all the letters of the alphabet. So we're going to do, we're going to take this guy, we're going to copy and paste. Just your control C, control V, or command C and V, depending on which OS you're using. And we're going to take this and hold shift down. Come on. And just scale this up a little bit. And I'm going to do a third one. And again, if you need this to be more precise, you've got the inches right here. You can also set to millimeters. I don't especially need it to be fancy. So we're just going at it this way. We're just kind of eyeballing it. So you can fit different sizes in there. If you need to, you can make the letters bigger or smaller, whichever you want to do. So I'm just going to come in here and square keychain we're going to export everything in the design as stl and that's going to allow you to download it to your computer and we are just gonna grab the slicer Bring it over here, come to Downloads, Square Keychain, Open. We've got this set up for the A1 Mini, and we've got that ready to go. So we just need to hit Slice. Um, according to uh, my phone, if you uh, are getting value out of this, go ahead and throw a like and subscribe. Because, hey, I always forget that it'll do that. Anyways, uh, this is going to take 45 minutes to do, so um, we're going to go ahead and select Lil Boo.
time lapse and we'll speed that up for you guys and sending through we should hear it ding that it's getting it in just a second here um and that's all you need to do to make your own custom keychain and uh i'll show you the final product here in just a minute And here's the finished product. So as you can see, we've got our small, medium, and large sizes here with all of our letters right there. I probably should have shrunk the letters down a little bit, but uh, either way, works just fine. It'll be just a little bit raised. There you go. And so, yeah, a little bit raised. Shouldn't be a problem. But uh, you just go through, hit it with a little bit of super glue, and you're good to go. Um, I'll put a link to the filament that I used in the comments and descriptions down below. If you guys have any questions or want me to do any other Tinkercad related stuff, let me know. Throw me a subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Let me know if you end up making your own keychain or what else you need help with. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.